YouTube, what up? Big Reed here checking back in live for no days off, man. All right, y'all, I decided to jump out here today, man, and shoot a quick video. We got, um, like I told y'all, we cleaning out, cleaning out the man cave, man, and turning it into an indoor kennel. But this is pretty much my final haul from Tractor Supply that we made, I mean, over the last couple of days. Hush up, Jump! You can sit out there and whine the whole time. But y'all can see, final haul of dog food, man. Just all the stuff we got on the trailer. Got a, got a surprise in that box, man. Once I get, once we get this dusty ass um, garage together. I mean, I'm going to warn y'all right now, man. You ain't got some kind of exhaust system or some side up on the inside. Do not use them cedar chips i wouldn't even recommend using them pine I, I i would not recommend using pine either even though it say low dust i would not recommend using it man that stuff is dusty i'm talking about we had to come out here yesterday man i just let it air out i just came out here and closed the windows and stuff decided to drop in dropping um do a quick video but y'all can see man this this is one of my toolboxes and uh, y'all, all that's from Cedar Chips, man. Y'all see how thick that stuff is, man? On to my coating, everything. So, like I said, I got to get in here with the pressure washer, man, and knock, wash this stuff down, knock it down, man. But go ahead and show y'all, I mean, how big this thing is and what we got so far. I said, I'm, I'm going to repeat again, man. If you don't have some kind of exhaust system side up, not use city chips on the inside. But here's what we got. Hey, I do have to understand that this room, this this this, this space here is insulated, man. And it is, it's attached to the um, HVAC system to the house. So it's heated and cooled and, I mean, the whole nine. So I don't think I would have to do really was... Um, Insulate this garage though. The garage door is not insulated. But they just cutting out little foam pads, sticking them, sticking them in there. It ain't really too ain't no hard work. But y'all can see we got a tape measure out, man. I'm um I'm gonna put one of them. I'm gonna put one of them full size retriever kennels in there, man. So I was just measuring it out trying to see how much space it would, it would leave me. Still a pretty little nice walkway, man. So I'm gonna put one in here and I'm probably gonna do the rest of them. Um those six by four kennels. I think it's I think it's six by four. I think they're six by four. I have to check because I, I think the kennel mouse, I think it's a six by four by four or something like that. But anyway, man, we just came out here, got everything cleaned out. <laughs> Now all we gotta do is get all this stuff out of here, man, and come out here and dust and all that, man. But like I said, man, I repeat, and y'all can see, I wiped this down. Yes, I, I wiped it down. Yes, just just to see how much dust would be left over. Y'all can see, it's it was still coming down, man. So unless you got some kind of exhaust fan or some side up, man, I would not use. See the chips on the inside. But this is the space that's going to the dogs, man. We just, like I said, just got it clean. It's a little cool today. Look, I mean, still was a little clogged up from all that dust yesterday, so we gave it a break today. But we go, um, get out here and let these hounds out for a minute, man, and. We tried to um like I said we we got got all this stuff. This the other kennel I was telling y'all about the little kennel master kennel. I think it's I think it's a six by four by four. I think it's six feet long, four feet wide, and four feet high. I'm thinking that's 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 the dimensions on it. I have I man, I don't even know what I did with the box, but I think that's what it is. But I'm gonna put one I'm thinking about doing one retriever kennel in there. And the rest of them, we're going to run with these.
YouTube. What up, man? Big Reed here back live with another one for no days off. All right, y'all. Me and the hounds, we out here in the wild, man. Nah, we just behind the house, man. This little, uh, I call it, I call it Reed Park. But we just out here letting them get some exercise, man. Letting everybody stretch their legs. You know what I'm saying? A little nature walk. As I can see, we got a, uh, what Everybody out. But now nah, we out here, man. I wasn't gonna film today, but I decided to film the um, wind to come. It was windy as shit early, but the wind to come now, man. So, y'all can see everybody. Yeah. This is a little runoff off of the main creek, man. This, this primarily, well, this ain't the spot, but the creek primarily where we be at, I mean, just to let y'all know in the summertime, it's possibly why most of all my videos are gonna get filmed at. So, but. Anyway, just decided to drop a vid today, man. Just, um, another vid just to let y'all know, I mean, the plans for the kennel, my vision, you know what I'm saying? But, first of all, shout out to all, what? We up to 50 subscribers, man. Shit, I'm. I'm happy. I mean, we moving forward, not back. So that's always a good thing. But anyways, y'all, we, um, my, all right, first of all, I don't have anything or nothing to prove to nobody on YouTube, man. I love my life. I got... <laughs> As y'all can see, like I said, I love my life. I got nothing to prove to nobody. All right. I don't internet beef, YouTube, I guess YouTube beefing, none of that. But, all right, on to the, the video of the day, since we, we, we got that part out of the way. My vision, I mean, for this camp is... But well, the primary class of X of bullets we plan on breeding here are XLs, man. That's it. I mean, I have standards and I also have one pocket. So, but my primary my primary goal of vision is to breed a well tempered, healthy, structured XL dog. And I'm shooting to, to be averaging, I want my XLs to average 150 plus. And that's 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 males and females. I mean that's that's the primary goal of this kennel. But like I said, we're gonna be doing all classes, but the primary class will be XLs. And you wanna ask why? I just like big functional dogs, man. I like for my dogs to have some kind of autonomy, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I should have to pick my dog up and run from certain situations and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just my personal preference. Try not to bust my ass at y'all. It's still I mean. It's slicking the chicken shit out of here. But, like I said, we just on a little nature walk. Thor! Y'all gonna hear me call that name a lot. That's the one I told y'all in the early video. He'll take off and be gone for two, three days. Come here, Thor. But oh man, we're gonna walk back here. I got got some more clearing to do. I ain't got it. I did, I did all this. What y'all what y'all see me walking on right now? I did this with a um, <laughs> a zero turn lawnmower, man. Uh, was it Husqvarna? That M MTZ with the 61 inch deck on it? Yeah. This is what these paths got cleared out with. 
the, the little small trees and all that. I put the um, I forgot the name of them blades. But I just did this so, like I said, I got I already I always had plans on having a big kennel, so can't load. Kind of hard to load 19 dogs up and take them to the dog park. So we just go walking in the backyard. And this is a good bonding exercise for you and your dog. And for the dog, I mean, for the pack. It's good bonding. Good bonding exercise. Probably one of the best ones. Just long walks, man. I got my arm. Um, it done warmed up a little bit. Got my hoe out, man. For the for the old snakes. I got guns, but I just didn't feel like carrying them. But and as far as I mean. Yeah, if, the more y'all watch me, the more y'all gonna see. I love nutrition. I mean, I'm not a know-it-all, but as far as the nutrition for my dogs and all that, I love nutrition. I mean, that's just something that I like. I just like. I mean, I guess I like healthy dogs, man. I like big, functional, healthy dogs. So as far as the nutritional side of it, I spend a lot of time, man, researching and just 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 researching different nutrition aspects for, for animals, man. Go this way a lot. I gotta, um, like I said, I gotta get probably gonna give me a tractor, a little brush hog out here, man, so I can make a big circle. I started on it, I just didn't finish it. But if all you youngsters out there, man, like I said in my early video, man, you don't have to be rich to do this. I mean, I don't want to come off as being. Like, because I'm not rich by I mean for a long by a long ways I'm not rich. I'm alright, but I ain't rich. Thor, get over here. Thor. So it's just something I want to clear out on me. I'm not I mean, I'm alright. I ain't rich. You don't have to be rich to do this, man. You just have to have really. The most important thing is having the passion for it, man. 